Lexi didn't really understand why none of our top five adventures included her. None, not one. She was actually a little miffed that the only one she was even mentioned in was our Scotland trip, and we left her with some friends for a month. So she wanted to get in on this top five adventures tag and share her ideas of what top adventures truly are in Labrador Retriever version. Number one, being rescued. This really, really, really was the best thing ever. Someone tied me up to the shelter gate in South Los Angeles. You know, like Watts, Los Angeles. I would really, really, really like to thank that person. I'm not going to talk much about my life before the shelter. It had to do with making lots of puppies and holding me on a taut leash as a bait dog for fighting dogs. So I had bite marks. Anywho, the Forgotten Dog Foundation heard of me. They saw my photo because I was a love and the shelter worker's favorite. My soon-to-be mom saw me on Facebook and it was love at first sight. My mom's friend came and picked me up and housed me for a week. Mom and dad were off an adventure in Kentucky. They drove by Lexington, so renamed me Lexi. I was previously known as Rhoda. I am so not a Rhoda. Mom picked me up, I excitedly jumped in her car, and she took me to my new home, a boat. Which brings me to adventure number two, becoming a boat dog. Not too many boats in South LA, so this was different. I was up for it though. Woohoo! Wait till my other puppy mill bait dog friends heard about this. I lived on a boat. And then they untied the dock lines. Uh oh. And took this floating home of mine to an island where I couldn't go to shore, where I had to do my business up on the nets. But I had my own little spot with a bed and I could see out. And then I learned about little boats kayaks, inflatables, little sailboats, and life afloat. All good and an awesome adventure. So on to relating adventure of living aboard, swimming. Number three, this is an ongoing adventure. I like pools, I like lakes, the beach, creeks, unheated jacuzzis, not bathtubs too much, and I want this adventure to go on forever. Number four, a really awesome camping trip to Arizona. I love all of our camping trips, but this one had a creek, a pond, my fabulous friend Lucy. Lucy, rest in peace. I miss you, my friend. We stopped at a ghost town. We did a walkabout flagstaff, went on a bunch of hikes, and I had so much fun playing with Lucy in the pond and in the dirt. We were filthy. My friend Maya came to visit. Oh hey, and we went to the Grand Canyon. Wow, the view, the smells. And then there was this thing. And on to number five. Okay, this is a weird one, but I like dressing up. I know, I know, kind of weird, but I'm a girl and I wear basic black all of the time. I need to dress up my black coat sometimes. Hey, what dog gets to wear Prada? I have so many more fabulous adventures, but really, I had to narrow my fabulous adventure list down. And now, to tag some of my furry YouTube friends. I can only count to four. See my paw? Four toes. Number one, I shall tag Blaze. Blaze lives with DNS Adventures. Number two, Millie. Millie lives with Turing Taste Buds. Buster and Piper, they live with M and the Gang. Number four, Ziggy. Ziggy lives with the glamping guys. Remember, dogs celebrate everything. We are so happy to see our humans, even if we've only been apart 10 minutes. We enjoy food, smells, friends, and adventures. I remind my humans of how fabulous I find each day to be and try to be a constant reminder to find joy and beauty in everything, even in a rubber chicken. <laughs>